Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you how to allocate more RAM memory to your Minecraft Java game. I'm going to show you how to do this on the vanilla Minecraft launcher as well as the CurseForge launcher and GD launcher as well. Now normally Minecraft does allocate about 2 gigs of RAM, as you can see at the top right there it says 2 gigabytes of memory there which has been allocated for Minecraft Java Edition. And chances are that if you've ever used any of the mods or mod packs, you've realized that you might need more RAM than 2 gigabytes. So I'm going to show you how to allocate more memory into the game so that you won't experience any crashes or any freezing as such. And it's really simple to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to allocate more RAM memory for your Minecraft Java game. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we open up the Minecraft launcher. Just wait for that to load up. Now, if we go to the installation section over here, you might have a few different installations over here. So just click on any of the installations that you want to increase your RAM allocation for. So I'm just going to show you the latest release as an example. So if we click on these three dots here, click on edit, and then you will see this section here. Now, if I click on more options, I will see this bit here, which says JVM arguments. And underneath that, it will say hyphen x and x 2g now this is the bit we need to change so we can actually change this to something like six and that will make it into a six gigabyte ram allocation i'm going to leave that for now i'm going to create a new installation and I'm just going to call it one and then click on more options and i'm going to change this to 6g as you guys can see over here let's put the resolution to that as well let's create and now if i was to launch the game it should allocate six gigabytes of RAM as opposed to the default two. As I mentioned earlier, two gigs of RAM is enough for a default vanilla Minecraft experience. But if you are playing with any mods or mod packs and you have loads of stuff going on in your Minecraft game, then you might need more than two gigabytes. So let's go into a normal world and let's take a look. All right, so now the game's loaded. I'm going to press the F3 on my keyboard to bring up the console. So as you guys can see at the top right, now it does say memory and it's showing me 6144 megabytes which is 6 gigabytes basically and it's allowing the system to use up to 6 gigabytes now if you guys are running a computer with 8 gigs you might want to change it to 4 it's completely up to you guys you can just play around with that and change it according to your needs so for the vanilla default minecraft launcher this is how we can allocate more ram memory to the game Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it for the Curse Forge launcher as well, which is a bit more straightforward. So let's load up the Curse Forge launcher. And you, all you need to do is a few steps in the actual settings of the Curse Forge launcher. So let me just quickly show you guys. Once the Curse Forge launcher is open, all we need to do is just go to the cogwheel here, which is the settings button, and then click on Minecraft. Now, if we just scroll down, you will see it does say Java settings and it says allocated memory. So you can actually set the default memory allocated to profile. So when we do create a new profile, this is the default memory that is going to allocate to those profiles. So I've set it here at 6144 megabytes, which is basically six gigabytes. So you can change it. You can make it four gigabytes if you wanted to, or you can keep it at six, or you can change it to 12. It's completely up to you. The max, as you can see, the max I can go to is 12 gigabytes here. So I'm going to change it back to 6144 megabytes. And this is for the global profile. So any new profile I can now create, it should allocate six gigabytes. Now, if I wanted to change that, for example, as you guys can see, I've got a few different profiles here. So for profile number one over here, which I've named as number one, if I wanted to give that four gigabytes or less, anything less than six gigabytes, I could just right click on this, go to view profile, and then I could click these three dots and I could go to the profile options. And if I scroll down, and now, as you guys can see, it's got a tick box here which says use system memory settings. So it's going to use the six gigabytes, which we set up globally. So I can untick this and then I can change it to four gigabytes or anything as such. If I wanted to, I can even make it 12, for example. And if I was to play this game, basically, it's going to load up into the game and it should show me 12 gigabytes of RAM. So let's load this up. All right, let's just wait for that to load up. And then I'll create a new world and I can show you how it's allocated 12 gigs of RAM for the Minecraft game. Now, chances are you might not need that much, but it's a good option to have anyway. So this is a, uh, looks like we've got a few mods running here as well. So let's create a new world and have a look at the RAM allocation. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got a few mods running here as well. And I'm gonna press the F3 button here 
And let's just wait for that to move out of the way. So as you guys can see, the second line where it says mem, it is saying 12 gigs there. So as you can see, it's hardly using anything up to 12 gigs. But as you can see, it has crossed the 2 gigabyte range there. I have got a few mods running as well. So this is how we can change it on the Curse Forge launcher. And I'm going to show you how to do it for the GD launcher as well. So let's close this down. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to open up the GD launcher as well. And it's quite similar to how we do it on the Curse Forge launcher as well on this one. So again, when the GD launcher screen opens, click on the cog wheel here to go into the settings. Click on Java. And in this section, it says Java memory. And it says select the preferred amount of memory so as you guys can see, it says 6144 megabytes, which is 6 gigabytes, and that's the one I've set it to. So you guys can go ahead and amend this as well. And if we were to do it for individual profiles, we can just right click on it, click on manage. And then if you scroll down, we can see it over here, it says override Java memory. So I'm going to click this checkbox here, and then I can choose whatever I want. So as you guys can see for this one, I've selected four gigabytes here. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to close this down. Now I'm going to run this instance and let's see if it's going to open up with a 4 gigabyte RAM allocation. All right, so we are now in the game and it looks like this one comes with uh, Optifine. I had set this one up earlier. This is one of the tests I was doing with GD Launcher and Optifine. So let's have a look at what we get with this one. So if I press F3, as you guys can see, it says 4096 megabytes there, which is what was showing in the options. And now it's giving me 4 gigs of RAM. So this is how we can basically allocate our RAM memory into our Minecraft game and change the RAM settings if you wanted to do that. So as I said earlier, you should not require more than two gigabytes if you're just playing the normal vanilla Minecraft game. But if you are playing the game with mods or using a lot of mods or any of the mod packs, chances are that you might need more memory. So this is how you can do it for the default Minecraft launcher how you can do it for the Curse Forge launcher and how you can do it for GD launcher as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. And if you have any comments or queries about how to allocate more memory, more RAM into your Minecraft Java game, then please do leave them in the comment section below. And also please do subscribe to the channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.